Today on Nation, the Window Cleaners Podcast, we're talking about my favorite subject, man. We're talking route. Some people hate it, some people love it. If you do it or not, it doesn't matter. Stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's going on, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. So many here's. But anyway, welcome. If it's your first time, have a look around. Hopefully you dig it. Uh, at least hopefully it doesn't suck. If you do like it or you hate it, text me. Uh, let me know your thoughts. I always love when people do that. Um, but if you are one of the cool kids, certified cool kids, and uh, you thumbs up the video, by the way, do that. Now, if you're on YouTube, you've given us a review on iTunes. If you're on iTunes, do that. And more importantly, you've ordered through me as your rep for window cleaning supplies. Well, what's up? It's because of you that I get to have an iPhone 8 Plus. What are they on now? Like iPhone 20s? I don't know. But uh, no, really, guys, I do really appreciate you, everybody who orders through me. If you want to be one of the cool kids, get one of the stickers because stickers are cool. Let me know. Uh, shoot me a text, 862-312-2026. That is my cell phone. So text me, call me, save that number, Jersey with a J. Uh, save it in there if you need anything. Uh, you have comments, questions, pricing, and more importantly, supplies, let me know. Shameless plug over. Um, definitely, definitely let me know. By the way, starting to do shout outs again, because for some reason I forgot for a bunch of weeks and uh, I'm still getting sloppy at it, so I'm sorry, but here's some shout outs. Matthew Lopresto, what's going on, man? Uh, Sam Wallace, Bella, what's up, Bella? Uh, she's super, super awesome. Paul Taylor, what's going on? Danny, uh, Salta, Ger Salta Gerald, Salta Gerald, Danny, I'm sorry. Danny, uh, <laughs> Gabe Gonzalez, what's up, man? Uh, he has been, uh, talking up my show. I love it. He's going to be running the new, uh, El Paso, uh, location for them. And Peter, what's up, man? Uh, Clearview Professional Window Cleaning. I just want to say shout out to all you guys. If you order with me, I pick people at random. If you say, hey, I love your show. Send me a sticker and give me a shout out. Then I might actually bump you and give you a shout out. Uh, you can have your whole like two seconds of fame on some weird internet show. Anyway, thank you guys. Uh, I really, really do appreciate it. I know every week I tell you and it gets lost, but there are some of you, a lot of you, uh, who order every single order through me every single time you send me the text just as jersey the order's in my cart card one two three four and my address is still one two three and uh yeah it's so simple it costs you nothing extra but i do really really appreciate you guys take the extra time and you remember me and i really appreciate that so thank you anyway so today on nation we're talking about um we're talking about route and now before you go and send me some angry emails all about how Route is stupid and I ain't making a dollar a window, I love Route. Doesn't matter what I say, it matters what you say in your business. So maybe Route's not for you, but I highly, highly, highly recommend uh, getting into Route. Route is one of those things that is absolutely crucial if you're in a cold weather climate, if you're in a vacation zone, if you're in like a tourist destination. There's so many spots. Route is just so absolutely awesome. Now, with that being said, I still think you should sprinkle in residential, route, and commercial. All three of those. They all have their time and place, right? Residential, spring and fall, those are your hard times. And as much as you can with those, those are the big ticket uh, dollars, low frequency. With commercial, I fill them in pre-spring and pre-fall. So that time where you're slow just before everything's going to rock and roll, I throw my commercial stuff in there. It's a nice huge boost of income so I can advertise with that income. Um, commercial's awesome for that. Commercial, by the way, is one job that gets done uh, less frequent than once a month. So uh, every three months or every six months. That's commercial. And route. Route is done every week or every other week. Or I guess every four weeks. But you go by weeks which we'll talk about in a bit and why. But route is absolutely amazing. Now, let me start this. I hope you watch the whole show or listen to the whole show. But here's the big thing. When you go to do route, you're charging. And again, 
I heard somebody the other day say that they're charging $4 a window. I don't believe that. Comment down below what you're charging on your windows in route. If you're on YouTube, I really, really do want to hear uh, where you're at. Um, uh, tell me your city and state and how much you charge per pane per side. Now, the average from what I've seen in all these years of doing it is about a dollar per pane per side. Now, a lot of you guys are going, what? I charge $10 a window. I'm not doing... Listen, you charge $10 a window because you're going for ultimate perfection. You're cleaning six months or one year worth of dirt off of a residential with route. Are you willing to charge a dollar to clean a week's worth of dirt off? I am. I am. Definitely. And that's the big thing with route is that you're cleaning less dirt. Sure, if you're in a restaurant, they get pretty gnarly, but the frequency is huge. Why do I love route? Frequency, visibility, because your trucks are going up and down all the time. You're always in front of those stores. You're always in busy places because that's where stores are. People can see you. They can find your car. They can take your picture. They can get your phone number, all that fun stuff. And reliability. Frequency is huge in window cleaning, and I don't care where you're located, you have a slow season, right? You have times where you're like, oh man, it's just dragging. I can't wait for XYZ season. Maybe it's snowbird season. Maybe it's fall. Maybe it's spring. Maybe you got to get through winter. Route doesn't care. It doesn't give two dumps about what time of year it is because route is done weekly. Now, when I say weekly, I mean by the week. So to keep up with a great schedule and to make a little extra, but really for the scheduling side, do it in a week's uh, in your calendar program. Let them know if it's every week, every other week, every three weeks, and every four weeks. Uh, when it does that, then it's not changing to once a month. So if you do it on like the first Tuesday of every month, it moves all around, and then your schedule becomes super, super wompy. So uh, yeah, I just made wompy up. I wonky. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> So put it in there by the week. And by the way, also uh, there's 52 weeks because of weeks or months that have extra weeks and extra days in them. So you actually make more money, but it's easier to get it done every other week. I'm telling you, let's do it that way. But if I got a job, say I fill up one truck, one guy, I have eight hours a day for a week of weekly work. I filled up one week of work for a guy in a truck, and that is absolutely his full-time, year-round jobs from one week of work. Now, you have one week. So Monday, you're at place A, B, C, right? Tuesday, next, 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 next. Well, the next week at Monday, you're at place A, B, C. You keep that schedule. So you fill up a week of weekly work, and you have a whole year worth of jobs that are getting done regardless of if it's raining or snowing sometimes i'll move it later that week or the next day if like we get a big blizzard or something i'll wait until at least the stuff's cleared the guys don't really want to go clean in the snow i get that but i'll keep it to that same schedule boom 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 nothing else in what we do is anything like that frequency wise it's just not so frequency is huge frequency is huge it's money you can count on now, if you have 100 route jobs, you have to get a fired 100 individual times to lose that. If you have one house, you got to get fired one time from the house. They just got to stop using you. You lose all that money. So route is huge. Route is super, super valuable. I'm telling you, if you don't do route, try it. Now, with that being said, there is a warning with route. When you start route, you will lose money. What? I thought you said it was so good. It is. When it's established, starting a route job, the first job you get at a dollar a pain could be, by the way, I have a $10 minimum, but it could be a $15 job. It could be on the other side of town. So now you got to find something to do to get all the way over to that side of town to do a $15 job. You're going to make like nothing. Okay. But the way a route works is you get that place and the neighbor and the one on the other side and you get the ones up the street and you're just boom, 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 boom. The tighter and more filled your route is, the more money you make. Now, if I could park a truck, we have a uh, West Racine kind of downtown area in, in Wisconsin, right? And it's all like row, row stores, right? Little storefronts with the apartments above. 
I would park on a four block section of that and I would not get back in the truck for hours and hours and hours. I would just boom, 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 boom. The route guy would just be on that street for hours. I knew exactly where he was and which stores he was, just hitting the next place, walking to the next place, dropping the envelope, boom, 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 boom. There's a couple ways to pay that makes it even better, but if you do that and you're in on one block, you don't even get back in your truck and you're just hitting windows for four hours, you're on one block or one set of blocks, that money right there is like a four-hour job even more. So we're averaging about $70 in route at a dollar a pane. But on those jobs, you're making even more because you're doing large jobs filled with little jobs. So large jobs get more, but it doesn't take that much more time. than the little jobs, there's a job with three windows that are still getting charged $10. That's how route works. That's why route is amazing is because when you fill it like that, you can make a ton of money. Now, people who don't like route, they just get that one job and they're like, that's stupid. I'm losing money. I'm dropping it. Route is dumb. You have to do route right. You have to. It's like advertising in your busy seasons. If you advertise in the middle of winter, you're not, you're going to be like, dude, advertising doesn't work. It's because you're doing it wrong. If you're advertising when you're slow, you're doing it wrong. Let that sink in. We've talked about that a bunch of other times, but in route itself, always, 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 you're always selling more route. Like your job and the tech's job and I bonus and everything else and my salespeople dedicate to those certain routes, they will hit that route every single month, if not more. Now, you go, well, that's annoying. No, listen, what happened a month ago? If somebody comes in, and I'll give you my spiel in a second, but when somebody comes in, you're not going to remember if you can do it right, and they'll come back and, hey, we're just in the area again, I just wanted to check, everything's still good with uh, your window cleaner, yeah, yeah, cool, well, awesome, hey, man, this weather is really, you know, and then I'm talking something else, but I'm keeping my face there. That's when that route, other route guy disappears, because he doesn't need the beer money, or whatever, they're going to call me. You always sell the hardest for route, but again... If you sell a $100 job, but it's weekly, that's a $5,200 job. I have restaurants that do, they're like, uh, you know, two, almost $300 that get done weekly. That's $300. That's a $15,000 a year account that I'm cleaning a week's worth of dirt off. I'm making $15,000 to clean a week's worth of dirt off every time I'm there. It's a pretty, pretty good deal. So... Route can be super, super lucrative, but you have to get in there. And you have to listen to me very carefully. There's cardinal rules. There's two of them. One I'll tell you in a bit, and the other one's right now. You have to door knock only. Do not send advertisement. Do not send papers or anything else because there's too many gatekeepers. They get too much junk mail because they're a commercial location. It will be lost. Only do door knocks, which slows things down. I get it. I know. But that's how you do it. Now, here's my my spiel. When you go into a, a route job, any job that is a cold call, right, meaning that they didn't call you, you always want to give them the least amount of chance to say no. Now, I'm not pushy. I don't want you to be pushy. Pushy's not cool. Pushy creates buyer's remorse. Uh, you become salesy, and it doesn't work. So what you need to do is... When you walk up to a storefront, have your clipboard. I got a metal clipboard somewhere on my shelf that I was going to show you, but I'm not because I think I gave it to my daughter. Metal clipboard's got all the thing inside. Get their two-part uh, half sheet of paper, a two-part carbon copy. We do it there at uh, printing, uh, windowcleaner.com slash printing. Talk to Steve. He's super, super awesome. Um, but a two-part simple form. It just has outs with a line. Ins and outs with a line, other, with a line and then like note lines. And then uh, you have frequency checkbox next to that and then a uh, manager signature with your address lines on top. Super, super simple. You want to know the address and phone number. You want to tell them their price and you want to tell them their frequency. And then I have a signature line on the bottom because it makes it feel official when somebody signs. I say it's not a contract. This is just so that you've seen the price that I've given you so that I'm not charging you too much and you know I'm not charging you too little kind of thing. It's just that we both acknowledge that we've seen this. That's all I say. I say if you 
if we do good work and um, we're at a good price, you're not gonna you're not gonna change. You're not gonna go with somebody else, right? So that's what I do when I go in. I'm gonna take that little sheet as I walk in, count the windows. We got ten windows. A dollar that's ten dollars, right? I walk in. I put ten dollars in the outs already. I already fill out all the information at top as I'm walking in. I've already ripped the thing off and I have it on my clipboard with my brochure or my business card. And I walk in and say, hey, it's Jersey from XYZ Window Cleaning. We're just in the area. We clean, name off a couple places. And uh, I couldn't help but notice uh, you, you guys here and I thought I would uh, drop off a price. So um, hand it over to him, the price, the, the uh, business card and the uh, brochure. I hand it to him. And I say, uh, if you notice that, it's $10 every single week. We can actually start today. Our techs are right across the street. And uh, there's no contract. You can end any time you want. Um, we just keep up uh, every X amount of weeks we have you done. I usually start every other week. Um, and then I mention we could go every week also. And I'm just quiet. Well, I didn't ask him, can I give you a bid? I didn't ask him, you know, do you have a window cleaner? I didn't ask him, are you looking for a window cleaner? I didn't ask him, do you get your windows cleaned? I didn't ask him anything. In fact, I just gave them all the information they needed, and now it's on them to tell me and talk to me. Because guess what? When you're doing sales, two ears, one mouth, right? Always listen more than you speak. So they're going to look and go, oh, wow, $10. Yeah, you know, you know. Uh, actually, uh, we have a window cleaner. We've had them for quite some time now. We're super uh, happy with them. Um, they do a great job. Oh yeah. Hey, I never want to step on toes, but keep that information in case anything happens or if he retires or anything like that. Um, that price is going to be good and I'll stop back in, in, uh, uh, a bit and check back in with you. And if anything comes up before that, let me know if you need emergency service. We're always here for that too. And I leave, I got my copy of that and they got their copy of that super low pressure. I didn't leave a bad taste in their mouth. That interaction they will forget about. But guess what? I am going to write on the back of that the notes. They have a window cleaner they're happy with, right? And I'm going to take that slip and I'm going to put it in what's called a tickler folder. That is a monthly folder that has every single date, right? I'm going to put it for one month from now. I'll put it in there. But I'm also going to want to go in one month from then. So I'm going to put that in there. But then the nice thing is, is that for every day, when it comes back up to that month and I'm out there selling... I'll have that slip. I'll know where I was a month ago. I'll know all the notes. I have all that written right on the back. Even if I don't get a chance to go in there right then and there, in one month, I will call them. I will call them and say, hey, it's Jersey from XYZ Window Cleaning. We talked about a month ago. Um, I just wanted to check in with you again. Um, I know you said you had somebody you were super happy with. Uh, everything's still working out with them? Oh, yeah, 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 it's fine. Okay, great. Well, again, um, I'll check back with you. If anything comes up, let me know. Well, you're not selling very hard. Exactly. Exactly. I'm staying relevant. I'm staying relevant. Because when you're in a mom pa place, they get attached to their services because they got it. Like, oh man, we've had this window cleaner for 20 years. Guy's name's John. He comes in, you know, he's a good kid. Got young kid. Like, they know that. But eventually, he will mess up and I will be there. And then guess what? When the next guy comes in, for beer money, hey, I'll clean your windows for $5. They're like, no, that's okay. They'll be like, oh, this dude who's been calling me every month, if anything happens, he's getting it, right? It shows them that you have a legit business because if somebody's in there for beer money, they say, hey, can I clean your windows? Here's your price. And you say, no, you'll never see them again. But if you call them and follow up with them, they're like, oh, well, this guy's got, he's on his top of his game. Yeah, yeah. I've had people literally do that. Here's the other thing. If I go into a place and uh, I talk to somebody or um, I leave them their information and they say to me, uh, oh, uh, the owner's not around or uh, yeah, let me take a look at this and I'll let you know. Anything like that. I'm going to then follow up one week later. I'm going to put it in the same ticket. Before. Hey, it's Jersey from XYZ. Uh, we talked last week. I just wanted to check in with you, see how things are going. Um, from there, they're like, oh, Oh, gee, yeah, hey, I didn't even look at it. Okay, well, no problem. Take a look at it. I'll, I'll give you a shout tomorrow sometime. We'll talk more about it. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, now they'll never look at it the first time because they just assume you're a beer money guy. Now you've shown them you're a business. 
They literally will look at the thing and everything else and call the next day. Now, follow-up on sales is the most important thing. I close 82% of the jobs that we go to sell in routes on follow-up. 82% of our closes come from that. That means 18% come from the actual door knock. That's crazy, right? But those are how you get across. That's how you get it. You follow up. You stay relevant. You're always there. Here's the other thing. If you're doing tech sales or you're in the field, next month when you're cleaning their neighbor, you go in again. You got all your gear on, everything else. Hey, it's me. I just wanted to say, how are you? We're here doing your neighbors. I thought I'd check in with you again. Oh, yeah, good, good, good. Still, you know, we're getting the other. Yeah, no worries. Well, you know, I'm here every month, so I'll bug you again sometime. Just check in with you. Super low pressure. Nobody cares. They say, okay, have a great one. You leave. Ten seconds later, they forgot you were there. It's not annoying, I'm telling you. Not at all. Now, somebody says, no, don't come here anymore. Oh, guess what? I'm never going to go there again. You have to be smart about leads too. I have, I've never even had that happen where somebody just flat out said no. Or they're like, nah, we don't need that right now. We have somebody. Okay, cool. I'll check back. They're not telling you no. They're telling you not right now. Not right now. So I'll always check back with them. Now you're selling on the same places every two weeks, every week, every month. Whatever the frequency is, I'm going to go back in there. If it's every month, I'll do that for the first couple, and then from there, I'll check back regular, you know, every few times. But they'll also ask me, like, man, you're here all the time. I am. We do a lot of work down here. Like, they're like, whoa, okay. Huh. Like, that's all good. The other thing is, if your truck's there every single week, guess what? Every person who walks in that business or any business around there or drives past it sees your truck every single week. They always see it. They know it's going to be there. The big thing with that is that recognition. They're like, man, I see your trucks everywhere. The first time that ever happened to me, I was new in business. I was in business for maybe a year. And um, I was talking to a lady. And she goes, you know, I uh, I had to try you guys out, blah, blah, blah. Oh, great. Well, I'm really appreciative. You know, it was the first time cleaning and getting there. She says, I just see your trucks everywhere. And uh, I know you have to be doing something right. We had one truck. Uh, okay. Well, um, I told her at the time, I was like, well, we only have the one truck, but we're everywhere, you know? And she, oh, well, yeah. well that, that's what made me realize is that the more visible you are, the more perceived competence your company has. If you have 10 trucks on the road and they're all over all the way, you, you got more comp. If you have logos that stand out, if you have colors and clean ski, if you look super professional and you stand out, people will recognize that. They'll remember that. And every time they see that car or truck, they'll go, wow, man, these guys are everywhere. It could be the same dang, dang truck. It's like when you buy a new car, you, you don't ever see that car anywhere until you buy it. Then you see it everywhere, right? Your brain then triggers something that you're looking for. So door knock only. Remember that. Don't give them a chance for a no. It's all in the way you ask. And they could still tell you no. We're not forcing them to do anything. I just want them to say something other than a one answer word. I don't ever want to say, hey, are you looking for a window cleaner? No. Well, if they say yes, I say, oh, well, can I give you a bid? No. If they say yes, I say, oh, great. Well, here, here's your bid. What do you think about that? No. Do you want to sign up with me right now? No. Do you want me to do it every week? No. Do you want me to do it every two weeks? I'm not giving them the answer to say yes or no because those are inherent. They're in your brain. They're already done. It's like people who, when you get somebody come to your door or a telemarketer call, hey, is this Miss, is this Mr. Uh, Jer- 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 Jersey? And you hear a bunch of people talking in the background. You're like, oh, I'm not interested. And you hang up. It's an instant, an instant thing that you say no. No shuts the conversation down. You instinctively know that a no ends whatever's going on, even if you don't listen to them. If somebody comes to your door, like, hey, I just wanted to give you this, ah, oh, no, hey, not interested. If you say that, it ends the conversation. That's your default. If you don't give them a chance to say that, they won't. They may say something, but it won't be yes or no. You can't be like, oh, hey, uh, yeah, we're here all the time. I'm doing uh, ABC and XYZ over there, and I just want to stop in and give you a quote. Slide it over, hand it to them. They're not going to go, no. I mean, they might. 
but hey, then you don't want to deal with them anyway. I've never had that. Never even heard of that happening. I didn't ask a yes or no question. They're always going to then respond with a sentence. I got a window cleaner. Actually, the Chuck, one of our uh, baggers, does it. Or I do it on the weekends. I kind of uh, sometimes don't get a chance to. Or we haven't had it done yet. I don't think we need it. Whatever they say is then you're allowed to go, oh, you have somebody do it? Yeah, yeah. I know how busy people can get here. Uh, if it's ever worth it to you, we can get it done a lot faster. We're in and out. We're fully insured, of course. We're going to do a professional job. It's going to look a lot better than Chuck from the back. No offense, Chuck. We're also going to be at $10. It's regardless if you're busy or not, we're here. It doesn't take up any of your staff. Like there's a lot of things that you can sell and let them know why. Because when somebody tells you no or they tell you something, it's not I have somebody else. And you go, oh, all right. They're giving you, they're giving you a reason, something to say. They're giving you that. You have to then take that and have a rebuttal. Explain it to them. They have a concern. Uh, my concern is I got a guy right now. Oh, great. Well, how do we stack up price wise? Are we pretty comparable? Yeah, yeah. I think he's about the same price. Well, cool. Well, I don't ever want to step on toes, but do understand we're fully insured, of course. We do uh, uh, an amazing job in our scheduling. You'll never not have us there. Uh, we are there in any type of weather, and we can auto charge for and make it super, super easy for you. Uh, we want to be seen, not heard. Kind of things like that, whatever you can kind of do, and then talk about, oh, how do you like the guy? Have you had the other window cleaner for a while? Yeah, yeah, no, we've, we just started him a couple months ago. How's he doing for you? I noticed there's maybe, you know, uh, when he comes, he leaves a couple drips and stuff, but that's not a big deal. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, um, let us know. You know, we have, uh, we're always fighting those drips. We don't have drips. If you ever have anything, if you ever see anything, you're walking out at the end of the day and in a different light and you see something in your window you're not happy with, you have my cell phone. Call me, text me, say, hey, Jersey, I got a drip on the second window. And I am back out there in the morning. I'm telling you, it's what we do. We're here to make your image look great. Like, those are rebuttals. This is you explaining yourself, even when they tell you something else. Nah, no, nah, we're not really looking for a window cleaner right now. Oh, you do it yourself? Yeah, yeah, I do it on the weekends. I really enjoy it. Oh, man, yeah. Well, uh, it's a lot more fun when you can take your time. But if you ever get too busy for that, we're here regular. We're in during the week. You get your weekends back. You can always do it extra times in the weekend if you really, really love it. We can actually do it every other week, and then every other week from there, you're doing it. So we're kind of piggybacking, and your windows are going to stay cleaner longer. And like you can explain things to them if you listen. Listen, it's huge. The big thing on route is there's two ways to get paid. This is where the frequency and money is awesome. So if they're corporate, you have to send in a bill and it's a big thing and it's uh, 30 days. Not too terribly common, but you can get cards also in that. So every time you run it, you run a card. But for the most part, most of your route stuff is going to be, you know, till pay, uh, mom, pa type places. Now, till pay is where you go in, you hand them the bill, they pull out the cash and they hand it to you. Better than that is that you get a card on file. And say, oh, so when we do this job, we just keep your card on file. Every time we're here, we're going to stop in and we're going to drop you off this packet. It's got the invoice information. You'll have the date on there, the amount we charge, and you'll know that we were there. And then uh, we get back to the office. We just charge that uh, single charge. So you can always end service with us. There's no contracts. Again, you're not getting charged anything extra, anything like that. Yes, you're paying fees on that. But guess what? It saves so much more time. I can walk in, drop off a thing. Hey, Mr. Jones, how are you? Slide that across, walk out. I get done with the day. Boom, 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 boom. I'm charging all those cards. There's two ways. That's the other way. The till pay is when they just pay you right out of the thing. Again, that's how run everything through your CRM, like QuickBooks or something. Do that. I'm not telling you ever to take cash as like cash under the table because that's stupid. But. I like the cash side of it too because then uh, the guys come in, they got their book and their folders have all the cash in there. I count the cash, double check that the prices all match up and now I got some cash for uh, spending. But either way, they're both with you. Try to get a card if you can. Big, big thing with uh, route work is, is that it's not as much as how fast you are, how amazing you are because you're going to be back in a week. It's wiping the frames. For the love of everything that is holy, wipe the frames. Wipe the frames. There's 
so many route jobs that guys go in, they clean the window, maybe hit the corners real quick, go to the next one, and the bottom is all just dirt, drip water. Like, wipe the frames. It takes two seconds. Make the whole thing look amazing. If you do a good enough job that no one notices anything bad, you'll have that job as long as you want. And the last thing on it is back to sell. Always sell. Sell, 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 sell. If you're in the field, sell. If they're in the field, sell. If your techs are in the field, sell. If you're there, sell. Always be selling route because that's how you make more money. That's how you build a route. Sell the heck out of it. I'm telling you, route is amazing. Go get some route. It's amazing. Anyway, there you go. I apologize uh, for my uh, hotness. We're having this uh, hurricane thing coming through, and it's super stuffy in here, so I apologize for the sweat and the... Anyway, if you would like me to be your rep, and I would love to be nothing more than your rep, is please do call me, 862-312-2026. If you're uh, on the fence, if you have anything, shoot me a text. Let me put all your orders in. If you guys are OGs, I know a lot of you that I actually do know know. And I talk to you, and some of you don't have me put it in. I just want to ask you why. Why? Why don't you let me put your orders in? Uh, No, I make it as easy as possible. So please do let me know. Again, 862-312-2026. Also, um, if you have any questions on anything, I'm definitely here for you. Go get some route, please. Route is amazing. Leave us a review. Comment on YouTube if you're here. Tell me where you are, what you charge per your route. Uh, Get ready. For that right there, uh, by the way, uh, new product coming out for, you guys are the only ones that know about this, but it is a wrap for a poll. Um, it is coming out soon. Soon. It'll be available, so it's pretty cool. Either way, we'll do some videos on that. Until next week, there go and increase your route, and more than that, be epic.